logarithms, the way we write a logarithm is log base b of x, it's a function, and b of course is a good base, meaning it's between 0 and 1, or 1 and infinity, not equal to 1. What is a logarithm? It's the inverse to the exponential b to the x function. So it is an inverse. Why do we have inverses? Just looking at the graphs, we have one-to-one -one functions passing the horizontal line test. So each function passes the horizontal line test, as long as you have a good base, you get an inverse. What does the inverse look like? If you have y equals log base b to the x, you can flip this around. What you do is you move the base to the other side as a base, but now it's an exponential function. So you can flip this function around to an exponential function. I have to use a triple equal sign uh, because I'm comparing this equation is the same as this equation. So the equations are the same. I'm going to do some examples uh, where we simplify. So we're going to go log base 2 of 16. The way I like to do these problems is let, and we'll just use the letter Y right here because it will match, let Y equal log base 2 of 16, and we're going to flip this around. So the base jumps to the other side, so it's 2 to the Y equals 16, and now your exponential brain can probably solve this. If not, just remember, 16 is a power of 2. The question is, which power of 2 is it? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2 to the 4th. So y equals 4. What is y? y is the letter, the variable we used for the original right here. So I'm just going to replace y with 4 right here. So we have y equals 4, so our original is log base 2 of 16 is 4. So we'll simplify it down equals 4. Now we're going to have a very similar problem here, except we have a fraction. So I'm going to do the same first step. Uh, we've got a y up there. Let's go with z. Let z equal log 3, 1, 27. All right, flip this around, move the base over. So it's going to, let's see, we're starting here, we're moving the base over. So it's 3 to the z equals 1 over 27. Hmm. 27 is 9 times 3, and 3 times 3 is 9, so this is 3 cubed. I can't quite uh, write down what z is, but I'll use the reciprocal property. 3 to the negative third, so z equals negative 3, and that's what we started with, so this equals negative 3. There's a natural base, it is written ln, and it means log base e. All I can tell you about e right now is it is an irrational number that is close to 2.71 um, irrational, so it doesn't have a pattern, uh, so I can't, uh, I can write it more accurately, but it has an infinite number of non-repeating digits, so this is good enough for us. I usually just think about it as something between 2 and 3. Uh, the squiggle means approximately equals. There's another uh, base that's very common, and it's log base 10, and you're going to see it written without a base. It's log but there's no base, and what that means is log base 10. So you could think of it as the invisible base. Uh, this is useful in a lot of things. Uh, the Richter scale for earthquakes is base 10. Uh, 